Hi everybody, just a very brief video today to look at a tool that's going to help us perform some analysis within our models, specifically visualization between two points. And we're going to perform this computation using a tool that's called Point to Point Check. And I've got a very simple model here to work with, but I think it'll drive home the point that I'm trying to make as far as where a tool like this could be useful. So for example, to get started, I've got a surface that if we move around, I've got some elevations right around the 695, 694 elevation range. And then I've got a berm that's set up here at this point. It's about 705, so about 10 foot high, um, 5 foot high, and then basically down to the base elevation. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to determine line of sight. Now, in this case, we can kind of mathematically maybe figure that out in our heads pretty easily, but it's not always easy to determine line of sight if we're looking at a model in a top view or trying to determine it based on scale. So instead, we'll perform some analysis on the surface itself and have it, uh, being Civil 3D, determine that for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Analyze uh, ribbon. We're going to go into the Visibility Check area on the Ground Data um, tab. And then we're going to come down and the command is point to point. And like I mentioned, it's point to point check is the actual command we'd be running if we were going to type it into the command line. So we'll do point to point. First thing it's going to ask us to do is select a surface. So we'll go ahead and uh, select the surface off the screen. If I had multiple surfaces, I could hit enter and then select it from a list. Uh, I'll tell it the height of my eye. So if it was a vehicle, we'd set it maybe what the height would be at a seated position from the driver. If somebody was standing, we'd set, you know, what the, the height would be there. I'll say in this case, maybe it's a six for a six foot tall eye height. Then I'll, I'll give it a position as far as where I'm going to be standing. We'll say in this location back here. And then the height of the target. This could be the height of the stop sign. This could be height of uh, like a warning area. Um, could be the height of a tower if we're trying to determine visibility, if it can be seen from a particular location. So in this case, we'll say that I want to look at something that's going to be uh, 8 foot tall. So we'll say 8. And then location of the target. You'll notice now that whenever I go to place, it's dynamically updating on the screen. And you'll see that as, as soon as I reach point where it, it, it isn't visible anymore, it dynamically updates that for us on the screen. And we see that our line of sight changes from green to red. And it's pretty uh, pretty nice. We can pick points. If we were going to create an exhibit to show in that location, it would still be visible. When we get into this location, it no longer would be. All right, so very quick, very easy. Um, we can run multiple ones uh, to determine different heights, different elevations. When we run this, the analysis has actually created what's called an unnamed block. So if I want to put those on a layer or freeze it, do whatever I'd like to do to control its visibility, we could, we could easily do that from there. So you think about the number of times that maybe you're doing a model at an intersection and you want to see what, uh, you know, what my line of sight is, my visibility, if I'm going to be turning out or leaving a parking lot, uh, driving around a corner, whatever the case may be. This, uh, this tool, Point to Point Check, provides a mechanism where we can perform that analysis and be able to determine that line of sight very quickly. So hope this helps, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.